Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the important multiple choice questions on accounting concept, conventions and principles in financial accounting. So let us start with first question. First question says the terms accounting concepts, conventions and principles are used commonly, alternatively, interchangeably and optionally. These four are the options. So we know that accounting concepts, conventions and principles are sometimes used interchangeably. It means they have <clears throat> the same meaning. They are related to the same thing. So accounting concept, conventions and principles are used interchangeably so option c is the right answer now let us move on the next question next question says as per business entity concept the business and owner of the business are considered dash from each other so we know that as per business entity concept business and owner of the business are considered different from each other right so here option b is the right answer now let us move on the next question next question says every transaction that is recorded in the books of account is always considered from dash point of view so here students keep in mind that in accounting we have to consider every transaction from business point of view so here option b is the right answer now let us move on the next question next question says as per dash concept only those transactions which can be expressed in terms of money are to be recorded in the books of account. So as per money measurement concept, so option two, this uh, answer to this question is option A. So as per money measurement concept, only those transactions which can be expressed in terms of money are to be recorded in the books of accounts, right? So money measurement concept says that record only those transactions which have monetary consideration right so for answer uh, question number four option a is the right answer now let us move on the next question next question says accounting should be focused on dash tax so this is basically logical question so option says relative significant same or opposite so accounting should be focused on significant Tax. So, as per materiality concept, the accounting should be focused on significant fact. So, here option B is the right answer. Now, let us move on. Next question. Next question says, as per dash concept, for every debit, there is a uh, corresponding credit and vice versa. So, as per we know that dual aspect concept, uh, ev for every debit, there is a corresponding credit and for every credit, there is, there is a corresponding debit okay so here option c is the right answer right now let us move on next question next question says uh, when a owner of business brings in some money as capital into his business it is treated as dash of business so here see students question says when a owner of business brings in some money as capital so jab bhi businessman capital lata hai business so, hum capital as a liability treat karte, right? So, here option B is the right answer, right? When a owner of business brings in some money as capital into his business, it is treated as liability of the business. So, option B is the right answer. Next question says equation assets is equal to liability plus capital is expressed as per dash concept. So, this equation is expressed as per the dual aspect concept assets is equal to liabilities plus capital right so for this question number eight answer is option c now let us move on the next question next question says as per dash concept financial statements are to be prepared at regular interval so as per uh, <clears throat> periodicity concept financial statements are to be prepared at regular interval because see as per this concept periodicity concept it is necessary for a business organization to prepare its financial statement financial statement includes profit and loss account and balance sheet on regular interval okay so for the uh, question number nine option d is the right answer next question says as per revenue recognition concept income to be recorded in the books only when it is actually realized okay, jab 
रेने नहीं एक्चुअली रियलाइज होगा तभी बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट में रिकॉर्ड करना है अदरवाइज रिकॉर्ड नहीं करना है सो हियर ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर now let us move on the next question and it says as per dash concept expenses are to be recorded in the books as incurred and not on the date of actual payment okay see student this is very important concept that is accrual concept so as per accrual concept we record uh, the expenses been actually incurred and not on the date of actual payment so because of this accrual concept we do accounting for outstanding expenses right agar humne salary slip sirf 10 months ki salary pay ki hai to hum 2 month ki salary outstanding dikhate right which is not actually paid so this is basically accrual concept right so for this question option a is the right answer as per accrual concept expenses are to be recorded in the books as incurred and not on the date of actual payment right next question says according to going concern concept it is assumed that business firm would continue for a dash period of time so this uh, going concern concept says that business uh, would continue for a long period of time so because of this here option d is the right answer right now let us move on the next question and it says according to dash concept there should be consistency in the accounting policies and practices so as it is a consistency concept okay so consistency concept says there should be consistency in the accounting policies and practices jo accounting policies and uh, practices follow kar rahi hai company wahi policy follow karni chahiye ye kaun si concept kehti hai कंसिस्टेंसी कंसेप्ट ओके सो फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन आंसर बी इज द राइट ऑप्शन देन एज पर कंजर्वेटिज्म प्रिंसिपल प्रॉफिट शुड नॉट बी रिकॉर्डेड इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट अंटिल इट इज रियलाइज ओके सो कंजर्वेटिज्म प्रिंसिपल इट इज आल्सो नोन एज प्रूडेंस एज पर दिस प्रिंसिपल प्रॉफिट शुड बी रिकॉर्डेड इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट ओनली इफ इट इज रियलाइज जब रियलाइज होगा तभी बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट में लिखो रियलाइज नहीं हुआ है मत लिखो किसी ने प्रॉमिस कर दिया कि हम आपसे गुड्स खरीदेंगे दैट इज नॉट द मॉनेटरी ट्रांजेक्शन और उस पर जो एक्सपेक्टेड प्रॉफिट है उसे रिकॉर्ड मत करो बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट में अंटिल इट इज रियलाइज राइट सो एज एज पर कंजर्वेटिज्म प्रिंसिपल प्रॉफिट शुड नॉट बी रिकॉर्डेड इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट अंटिल इट इज रियलाइज सो हियर ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर नाउ लेट अस मूव ऑन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट सेज ऑल असेट्स आर टू बी रिकॉर्डेड इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट एट देयर डैश प्राइस सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑन द हिस्टोरिकल कॉस्ट कंसेप्ट दैट कंसेप्ट सेज दैट ऑल असेट्स आर रिकॉर्डेड इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट एट देयर purchase price including incidental charges okay so here option c is the right answer next question says provision for bad and doubtful debts is created as per dash principle so we create provision for bad and doubtful debts as per the prudence principles students see in previous question i mentioned that prudence and conservatism these two are same prudence uh, or conservatism principle so as per this principle we anticipate the losses but does not anticipate uh, profits in the pro future and we anticipate losses and make provision for them okay so that's why we make provision for bad and doubtful debts as per the prudence principle or conservatism principle both are same so here option b is the right answer right next question says uh, state whether following statement is true or false so question says promise for order from customer is recorded in the books of account no it is not recorded so we have to state whether statement is true or false so this statement is false because a promise for order from customer is not recorded in the books of account we cannot record that transaction right now let us move on the next question it is also on the uh, true or false so question says a uh, conservatism principle is also known as prudence so as i have already mentioned that conservatism and prudence are both uh, word which are used interchangeably but conservatism principle and prudence principle are one and same so this statement is true okay uh, on this principle i have uh, asked 
three four questions because this is very important uh, principle in the uh, accounting right conservatism or prudence principle right so this statement is true that conservatism principle is also known as prudence now let us move on the next question and it says as per dash concept expenses paid or incurred in particular accounting period should be match with revenues of that period so this is as per the matching concept okay so here option b is the right answer as per matching concept expenses paid or incurred in particular accounting period should be matched with revenues of that period only matlab ek accounting period mein jo bhi expenses hue hai wo usi accounting period ke income se match hone chahiye aur profit loss decide kiya jayega so here option b is the right answer next question says the asset the dash assets and liabilities of owner are not recorded in the books of account so ओनर के कौन से एसेट बिजनेस बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट में रिकॉर्ड नहीं किए जाएंगे सो ऑब्वियसली पर्सनल द पर्सनल एसेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज ऑफ ओनर आर नॉट रिकॉर्डेड इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट सो हियर ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर राइट बिकॉज एज पर बिजनेस एंटिटी कंसेप्ट वी कंसिडर्ड ओनर ऑफ द बिजनेस एंड बिजनेस आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स और टू सेपरेट एंटिटीज राइट so for this question answer a that is the personal assets and liabilities of owner are not recorded in the books of account of the business now let us move on the next question and it says if rent for paid for 10 months is rupees 3000 in a year then outstanding rent for that year is okay so yahan pe 10 months ka rent paid hua hai which is 3000 so outstanding rent calculate karna hai so 10 month ke liye 3000 to 2 months ka rent outstanding hai it means uh, uh, 10 uh, 3000 divided by 10 will give us 300 rupees so 300 rupees is rent for 1 month and 2 months rent is outstanding so because of this 300 plus 300 so 600 that is option c is the right answer for that this question right This is simple question on calculation, outstanding rate calculate. Okay, दस महीने का रेंट थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज पे किया है हमने तो दो महीने का आउटस्टैंडिंग है उसकी अमाउंट क्या रहेगी ये क्वेश्चन कहता है तो उसकी अमाउंट रहेगी सिक्स हंड्रेड रुपीज सो यहाँ पे ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर राइट Now let us move on the next question. Next question says, when the owner of business withdraws money or goods from the business for personal use, it is treated as. So we know that when owner withdraws money or goods for personal use, we treat it as drawings in accounting, right? So option A is the right answer here. Next question says, environmental accounting is also called. so we have discussed that environmental accounting is also called as green accounting okay so here option c is the right answer next question says the process of piecemeal distribution of cash is related to what so piecemeal distribution of cash ye jo topic hai ye kis related hai so we know that this process of piecemeal distribution of cash is related to dissolution of partnership firm so here option d is the right answer right now let us move on the next question and it says dash provides an accounting analysis suitable to be used in legal pro, uh, proceedings so you let us see the options so options are environmental accounting pro, forensic international creative okay so we know that forensic accounting provides an accounting analysis suitable to use in legal process so basically forensic accounting is used to uh, find out the frauds in the financial statements so here option b is the right answer right now let us move on the next question and it says dash is special technique used to factor in the impact of rising cost of goods in the books of account so kaun si aise accounting hai jo as a special technique use hoti hai to factor in impact of rising cost matlab inflation ka impact karne ke liye so it is basically inflation accounting inflation accounting mein kya hota hai jo inflation hai jo goods or products ke prices badhte hain un ka bhi इम्पैक्ट जो है वो फैक्टर इन किया जाता है राइट सो यहाँ पे ऑप्शन डी इज द राइट आंसर दैट इज इंफ्लेशन अकाउंटिंग नाउ लेट इज मूव ऑन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड इट से इज क्रिएटिव अकाउंटिंग इज अ मेथड विच इज यूज टू मेक और इंटरप्रेट अकाउंटिंग पॉलिसीज फॉल्सली विद ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ मिस यूजिंग द अकाउंटिंग टेक्निक्स एंड स्टैंडर्ड सो दिस स्टेटमेंट वी हैव टू स्टेट विद दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू और फॉल्स so we know that creative accounting is a method which is used to make or interpret accounting policies falsely so creative accounting mein hum kya karte hain hum matlab 
अकाउंटेंट क्या करेंगे ऐसे तरह से अकाउंटिंग करेंगे कि प्रॉफिट ज्यादा दिखेगा या कम दिखेगा सो बेसिकली फॉल्स अकाउंटिंग स्टेटमेंट प्रिपेयर किया जाता है तो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज बेसिकली ट्रू सो हियर ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर नाउ लेट अस मूव ऑन द नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स अकाउंटिंग इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ आइडेंटिफाइंग एंड रिपोर्टिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन द ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेस ऑफ द ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन राइट सो वी नो दैट एच आर ए दैट इज ह्यूमन रिसोर्स अकाउंटिंग इज रिलेटेड टू द अकाउंटिंग or uh, which considers the investment made in the human resources so this statement is also true right so this question was on human resource accounting this mein hum jo humans hai un pe jo expenditure kiye company ne like human pe training unka unko training deti hai company unko kuch development karti hai skills deti hai to usme jo investment kiye us related accounting ह्यूमन रिसोर्स अकाउंटिंग में होते हैं उस इन्वेस्टमेंट पे बेसिकली राइट सो हियर ऑप्शन ए दैट इज दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू नाउ लेट अस मूव ऑन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन सेज द पर्पस ऑफ डैश इज टू मेक प्रॉफिट बाय नॉट रिपोर्टिंग द एग्जैक्ट फिगर सो अगेन दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू द क्रिएटिव अकाउंटिंग क्रिएटिव अकाउंटिंग में क्या होता है प्रॉफिट दिखाना है इज टू मेक प्रॉफिट बाय नॉट रिपोर्टिंग एग्जैक्ट फिगर्स सो ये 29 नंबर क्वेश्चन के लिए आंसर है ऑप्शन डी दैट इज क्रिएटिव अकाउंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डैश इज फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज इन फ्रॉड केसेस टू एक्सप्लेन द नेचर ऑफ फाइनेंशियल क्राइम इन कोर्ट सो इस पे हमने डिस्कस किया है ऑलरेडी इट इज द फॉरेंसिक अकाउंटिंग सो हियर ऑप्शन बी स्टूडेंट बेसिकली तो हियर ऑप्शन ए इज गिवन बट ऑप्शन बी दैट डैश इज फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज इन फ्रॉड केसेस सो यहां पे ऑप्शन बी होना चाहिए लेट मी करेक्ट इट so again it is forensic accounting okay so for question number 30 dash is frequently used in fraud cases to explain the nature of uh, financial crime in court so it is forensic accounting so fraud cases mein use hota hai right so yahan pe option b is the right answer students uh, uh, we have second video on this multiple important multiple choice question so make sure that you uh, watch this uh, the second video as well now thanks for watching uh, like share this video and subscribe to our channel thank you